Peace, power, and protection. Welcome to Clara Audience Truth Speaker. My name is Q. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in today. I will you all are blessed, happy, well balanced, mind, body, and soul. Everything is everything on my side of the planet, as you all know. It is time to delve into your readings, beloved. Welcome to anyone of you that may be new. As I said, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am Claire Audience. So during my readings, you will hear me referencing songs. The name of the word, the way that it works, is the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, perhaps even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all just blends beautifully. So my spiel here is: eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply. Let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has popped up in your feed or whenever you felt compelled to, to click play, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloved. So to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I want to send y'all extra love because I love y'all that much. Um, as you all are aware, if you heard the former reading, I am still recovering from, you know, contracting that nasty COVID virus. Um, I'm still trying to regain my sense of taste, my sense of smell. Um, it's been a journey. Oh my God. And I'm still dealing with fatigue, but, um, I do feel a lot better, a lot better, uh, compared to how I was doing. That's what my absence was, um, for the past couple of weeks was just trying to recover not even trying, but recovering, healing. Um, so without further ado, we're going to dive right into your reading. <clears throat> but before we do, you already know, I like to pay homage to the ancestors and the angels. So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the read. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So we have on the Klizak, it is currently 153. So that breaks down to nine. So we have nine here on the clock. Nine deals with the hermit. Um, nine is also giving me like nine of pentacles energy where you've been working very hard. You've established yourselves, um, monetarily, financially, you're very stable, self-sufficient, independent. I definitely feel like others see you as someone, um, that's very protective of themselves, very protective of your energy, very protective of who you allow in your life and your cipher. Um, and also someone who has really, uh, you know, rebuilt, you know, from the ground up, you've really are someone who's, um, very resourceful, or maybe you're just someone who's, um, very goal oriented, very focused on achieving your goals. Um, pardon me. I don't want to get in a strizike. So we have right now playing, uh, Ro James permission. So I definitely get a sense that some of you all could be dealing with someone named James, first, middle, or last. Um, with uh, permission, I do feel like you are very protective of your energy. So before you allow anyone in, it's like you have to give them that nod of approval. So it's like unless something sits right, feels right in your spirit, you're not dealing with it. You're not putting up with it. So it's very protective, the energy you're in. I do feel also like you are... Um, like you've been going through or growing through um, some sort of change. Like you've you've really been growing through some sort of change that has occurred in your life, and it's like you look you took the time to look back in awareness, um, and in that observation, in that self analysis, or in that you know um, evaluation, if you will, it's like you realized that you you have to establish those boundaries. Uh, maybe you have allowed a lot of people into your circle 
um, and you know, you gave people a lot of permission to get into your circle and those individuals, uh, kind of destroyed what you were building, whether that was your peace of mind, whether you were building your empire, building whatever it was, it's like you allowed a lot of ops, um, in your circumference and they destroyed what you were building. So now it's like, you're not permitting or allowing anyone in unless they pass you know, that, that, that security test, you know, it's like you're, you're literally putting up, um, these defense, uh, walls, these defensive, um, <clears throat> mechanisms, if you will. And they have to, they have to pass the test. So it's like, you're not just allowing anybody in anymore. You're not just giving people the benefit of the doubt anymore. You're no longer, you know, just trying to appease to please. It's like now it has to sit right, feel right, in your spirit in order for you to move forward. So I'm, that's what I'm getting with permission. It's like you're not just allowing anybody in. You're very protective. You're in a protective bubble. So let's see what we got coming in. Being that we have this big moon energy, this full moon energy and Aries coming up, um, I want to pull some messages from Moonology. What we have on the bottom of the deck is it says, show the world the real you. So that's beautiful because this shows that, you know, perhaps there were um, some parts of you that you were kind of like, you know, it were lying dormant. You know, maybe you weren't being your authentic self. Maybe you weren't being, um, you know, um, true to yourself in some aspect. And now it's like you're able to, you know, emerge as your authentic self you know this is really about standing in your power it's also like spirit is saying you know with this song permission it's like you now are being you know kind of like um pushed and encouraged to to stand up as your authentic self it's like there's nothing more that you need to hide from or fear you know fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real so it's like spirit is saying it's time for you to stand up stand erect um and to show the world who you truly are what we have on the split is we have work through your fears so as i'm speaking of fears you know the false expectations are appearing real and this is in scorpio so this is what you've had to do. I feel like you've been on a journey, um, you know, to confront those fears. Uh, you've been on a journey to heal from past pains, wounds, traumas, whether they were childhood, familial, whether they were past life. It's like that's what you've been on this journey um, growing through. And that's why now Spirit is saying without your permission, um, you're not just allowing anyone or anything into your life. It's like they have to pass the test. Uh, because it's like now you're, you're your authentic self with show the world, the real you and this, you know, work through your fears. I feel like that's how you've become, um, aware of who you are, aware of what you like, aware of what you dislike. Um, you've learned your love language. You've learned, you know, um, what you deserve, you know, and you're no longer willing to settle, but this is powerful. I love that. So let's tap in. So let's see what we have coming and going out going on for my beloved Scorpio spirit. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have? What do we have coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios? And we have um who do we have playing right now? This is called Remedy and um featuring Wu Tang. And it's called Crazy Eights. So eights uh, deal with karma, you know. So you could have been dealing with a crazy karmic. Could have been dealing with a crazy karmic situation. Learning karmic lessons. Wrapping up karmic cycles. Eight also deals with strength. So I feel like that's how you've been able to build your strength. So you have a runaway. This is your message. Spirit chose it for you. We have on the bottom of the deck. Adjustments are required. Uh, so what we have is have, have faith in your dreams. So when you have faith in your dreams, you don't waver, you know, this is like, this is standing up for what you believe in. This is also, um, you know, being optimistic about your future. There's obviously some sort of transformation that has occurred. I see a lot of butterflies here. Uh, and butterflies do indicate that there's been major transformation. And I feel like that's how you've emerged as someone very hopeful, very optimistic. Uh, perhaps you've spent a lot of time praying fervently, meditating, calling in what you desire. Um, 
And it's like that faith, that hope, that optimism is what's assuring that something is going to materialize or manifest in this physical reality. I feel like whatever it is, it is going to feel like an answer to a prayer or a blessing because the name of this artist is Remedy. So, you know, when you have a remedy that is like, that is a solution. So there is some sort of resolve or some sort of, uh, you know, um, answer or uh, some, some, something that you've been anticipating and waiting for. With adjustments are required, there could be some patience um, that you may need to, you know, display uh, because things are being worked out behind the scenes. I feel like, you know, especially with uh, this full moon here, it says third quarter moon. Um, and threes always give me a sense of like planning, preparing, strategizing. So there is a sense of like, you know, someone behind the scenes, whether this is what you're attracting to you or whether this is what you are being told you need to do is to make some adjustments to, you know, work out the kinks. But I'm definitely getting a sense that there's a, re a remedy. There is something that will manifest um, in your favor. Uh, you just have to continue to hold on to faith and hold on to, you know, that hope, um, you know, but that's also, you know, that eight from crazy eights is also, uh, it, it, it always makes me feel like, you know, that's the star energy as well. So that's why I was picking up like, you know, wish fulfillment, a blessing, answer to a prayer, some sort of miracle. Um, and it's coming in quickly. That's why spirit is telling you to just have faith in your dreams so let's tap in. So that was a bonus message. Let's get your actual messages. Thank you, Spirit, for that. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. Someone could be from um, Staten Island, New York as well. And we have the Philly Soul Session. This is the Neurons. I'm a loner. So some of you all could be from Philly, Philadelphia. So protons, neutrons, 666 six, six is what I'm hearing. Six protons, six neutrons. Um, I'm hearing neutrons, <laughs> um, even though this, this group is called the neurons. And so with I'm a loner, some of you all definitely, like I said, with that number nine, uh, you know, that I was seeing earlier, um, is that that's really like, you know, the hermit is a loner. He knows that the answers he seeks are found within. So it's like he will disconnect from the outside world to go within, to, you know, to do some self-reflection or to gain some sort of awareness. Um, so I do get a sense of like, you know, that, that sense of being single, even being single and independent, self-sufficient, um, working towards your goals solely, uh, not having a partner, you know, so not having a relationship that you've been a part of or not having particular people around you because you've done a lot of clearing and cleansing of your energy. Um, so that's why, you know, I was picking up with that permission. Like you're not allowing just anyone around you. It's like you've created like a safe space, a sanctuary, if you will. But with I'm a loner, perhaps that spirit's way of saying now it's time for you to come out of isolation. Um, you know, because maybe that, that loner energy is hindering you from, you know, from, from attracting your soul tribe, your soul family, or from, you know, attracting love. Even if you're closed up, clammed up, um, and, and you're, you know, blocked off, it's very hard for blessings to come through. It's hard for, you know, your wishes to be fulfilled. So spirit is saying it's time to be more open, be more receptive. What we have on the bottom of the deck is we have luck is on your side. So there's definitely something that's going to work out in your favor. I feel, I feel like, uh, whomever, whatever this is, it's, it's like, this is an arrow. Um, it's given me the sense of, cause I think this is Sagittarius here. Yeah, so that Sagittarius energy is like temperance. So it's about divine timing. Um, but I also get a sense of like, um, someone is going to shoot their shot, uh, as well, you know, and this is like, this is bringing in about, uh, bringing in some sort of, um, blessing, as I was saying, you know, and with temperance, I feel like good things take time to create. And that's why spirit was telling you to hold on to your faith. You know, this isn't about believing as much as it is about knowing what you're deserving of, knowing what you're worthy of. Um, and we have a new romantic cycle begins. I can't make this up on the bottom of the deck. So there is love coming in and it says a time for healing. So that's exactly what I was picking up. You know, when you take that necessary time to heal, 
um, then you can attract healthy love. You will attract what you are. So, you know, this is what all of this is really showing is that's why there was patience required. That's why uh, that time out to really assess, to reflect, to introspect was necessary because not only is that an opportunity for you to see you know, some of the faults that you may have had previously, but also in the ways that you may have handled certain situations and moving forward, you will make those necessary alterations or those adjustments as the card was indicating as well. So this is, you know, a very important time because it's a time for healing. Uh, so whomever or whatever you're attracting to you is definitely mirroring you in that regard, especially with I'm a loner. So this could also be someone who's very protective of their energy. Um, maybe this is someone that also with Philly soul sessions, I get a sense of like a soulmate. This could be someone that could be like a soulmate and there is a scale here. So these scales represent balance, represents harmony. You know, this is someone that could bring that um, into your life. This is also saying justice as well, because this is a uh, new moon in Libra and Libra deals with that justice card. So I do feel like, you know, this could lead to marriage. This could lead to some sort of long-term commitment, you know. So let's see, how does this, or who does, how or what does this energy that Scorpios are attracting feel about Scorpios? Wow. So we got a couple of messages and we have on the bottom of the deck a time to give rather than receive. So Spirit wants you to be in that attitude of gratitude. You know, whenever you give, you know, um, that energy is acknowledged by the universe and when you give freely it's like it, that also will um resonate as you being uh you know you do being uh worthy of receiving you know so it's like when you give with without any strings attached or expectations it really resonates it permeates in the ethers that you deserve what you're giving so it's really beautiful so it says here a win-win outcome is forecast so someone does see you as like you know this is definitely this is the third scale so they they obviously see you as someone very balanced very harmonized very grounded or this is what they feel you bring to their life you know we also have the answers you need are coming so there could be some communication. Someone could be communicating some sort of truth or confessing. I'm hearing confessions. And then we have adjustments are required. That card came back out. And we have emotions are running high. So how someone feels about you is that they need to get something off their chest. They need to bring something back into balance, back into harmony. Um, perhaps this is something someone has been hiding for quite some time, but they can no longer hide it because their emotions are running high, especially when it comes to you, because this is the cards of how they feel about you. So with a win-win outcome is forecast, I feel like something positive, good news is coming in, something that you've been waiting for, even something that you, um, you know, that, that you've been praying for. It's like, you know, that's what spirit is was telling you to have faith. And I feel like that's what you were exhibiting during this time. Um, because it's like, you know, your worth, you know, what you're deserving of, you know, your birthright. And it's like, you know, with this energy, the answers you need are coming. It's like, just, you know, stay patient, stay, stay patient because whomever this was, they were like making the necessary adjustments. As I said, planning, preparing, strategizing, you know, um, to come forward, to say what they need to say. And we have this place hotel, you know, um, this is the Jackson fives or the Jackson five, <clears throat> pardon me. So with this place hotel, and it says heartbreak hotel, there's, there's definitely what's hidden. We're about to pull the card for what's hidden. And it says uh, a time to give rather than take. So, you know, maybe there was someone who was definitely just very self-centered. Um, me, 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 I, I, I is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. You know, someone could have just been, you know, very much, um, you know, very like, just someone that wasn't really um, reciprocating, you know, and so that led to heartbreak because when you're constantly giving to someone and you're not getting anything in return, you're, you're left to feel emotionally bankrupt, you know, and so someone is finally realizing like, dang, I got to give um, if I want to receive or I should also receive you know, when I'm giving, you know, so it's almost like someone is, has learned their worth or someone has learned 
uh, another person's worth or another person's value. So let's tap in. So what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. So these cards want to fall. I'm going to let them. Bottom of the deck, we have meditate and contemplate. So this is definitely someone who's taken the necessary time to, take, to, to go within. Just as I said, like that's what the hermit is all about. He knows the answers he seeks are found within. So he takes that time to kind of disconnect, unplug from the outside world to get one, you know, to become one with their own thoughts, to have that consultation with your higher self. Um, we have uh, show the world the real you. This is the card that we saw in the very beginning of the reading. And then we also have work through your fears. Another card. This was on the split. So this is very powerful, Scorpios, because this is what's hidden. And these are the cards that actually showed during the shuffle. When I first split the cards, we had show the world the real you. And then when we split the cards, we had show, um, you know, to work through your fears. So that's what someone is absolutely doing is they're working through these fears, these false expectations, um, you know, this anxiety that's almost, it's like self-imposed. Um, a lot of it could also be like, trauma from past life or trauma from even this life, um, from the past, from past relationships, from your, you know, your, your, um, your love ships or your familial connections, you know, the, these are traumas that someone is working through. And I feel like someone has created a, a facade, if you will, um, to survive, you know, but now they're realizing that that facade is no longer sustainable. They can no longer live under these false pretenses. Um, and, you know, when you are wearing a mask, it's like you are operating and functioning in a place of fear, you know. So it's like someone is realizing, like, I have to, you know, be my authentic self, you know, in order to achieve the things that I desire in this lifetime, uh, whether that be love, whether that be success, it's like you have to show up as your authentic self in order to achieve those things or else it's like th this, you, you have to continue putting on the mask. You have to continue putting, you know, putting on the charade. And so someone is doing their due diligence to work through whatever these fears are, you know, these fears are false identities, ego, um, pride, you know, the fears could be in relationship to even, you know, um, expressing one's truth, emoting, being vulnerable, but there's, this is what someone's working through. And on the bottom of the deck, we got meditate and contemplate. So whoever this is, they're taking that time to work on themselves because I was getting a sense of someone being in that hermit mode, really self-reflecting, you know, um, taking the time out to assess the self, you know, that's really what the hermit is about. He's not going to lie to kick it for anyone. So it's like whatever you discover in that time of isolation, whether about yourself or your relationships or the people around you, it's like, you're going to come out and you're going to stand direct. You're going to stand perpendicular in your square. Um, and that's just what I'm gathering from that. So someone has definitely taken, uh, some time out to really, to really go within, uh, to really go within. And this is what they've discovered is that it, it, they have to work through their fears. And being that this is a Scorpio card, I absolutely feel like this is your energy, Scorpios. I feel like you all have really done a lot of shadow work. You know, this is what's hidden from others. They don't realize the work you've been doing on yourselves. They realize it because they could see the change and they could see that you've had some sort of, um, you know, like you've, you've reinvented yourself. I just saw some that, you know, like it's like you've reinvented yourself or you've come a long way. Um, but it's like, they don't know, like, you know, the process, this has not been an easy journey, uh, for you at all by any means. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message. Thank you, spirit. We have expect powerful changes. That's beautiful. So when you put in the work, you get the reward, you know, period point blank. And we have look at the bigger picture here. You know, so it's always bigger than what we, what we even think, you know, and like I said, it's no longer where there's a belief anymore. There's just a knowing of who you are and what you are here to do. So a lot of you all have had to grow through some very difficult experiences because you have a calling and an anointing on your life. And I feel like a lot of you have been answering that call, hence doing this work and, you know, being forced to show the world who you really are. 
you know, no longer wearing these masks or putting on these facades. It's like now you're being your authentic self, whether the people around you accept it or not. I feel a lot of um, these false uh, identities were because of your fears surrounding how people will feel about you. Um, for instance, like say you started to uh, tap into your spirituality. You may not have let people see your altar or n let people know that you have an altar or that you, you know, have certain practices, spiritual practices that you perform because that's just what your belief system is because you were afraid of how you would be perceived. Now you don't have those fears so much because you don't care what other people think about you. This is what your belief is. And if they like it, cool. If they don't, it's, that's none of your business, you know, but it's like, maybe that's what the fears and, and, and showing the world, the real you is you were hiding who you truly were, uh, because of your fear of being mis um, misunderstood or Mr. Understood, if you will, but there's powerful changes ahead for you. And these changes are definitely directly, uh, connected to the work that you've been doing. So you're being rewarded and blissed, uh, for the work that you've been doing on yourself. So let's tap in. This is beautiful. So let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So look what we have here jumping out of the box, the chariot, beloved. So expect powerful changes to rush right on in because this chariot moves with a force. It moves with vigor. Uh, there's definitely rewards that are coming from your hard work, from your effort, from you doing that shadow work, you know, and this is going to bring a lot of successful balance into your life. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy of willpower, determination, you asserting yourself and definitely being publicly recognized, um, you know, for your efforts as well. And we have the ace of wands. So this is beautiful. So again, this is chiming in on you having, uh, you know, a very powerful change, um, that you should, uh, be preparing for. This is a new beginning of sorts, exciting times ahead for you. Um, I feel like there's a beautiful opportunity. Uh, this is definitely going to bring in, um, you know, bring in a lot of, of, you know, I feel exciting changes, you know, um, and this is based off of perhaps what you've called in through prayer, through meditation, through, you know, rituals, through setting intentions. Uh, because when you think of that staff, that wand, it's like it's an instrument for manifestation. Uh, that's what that Magi uses, you know, the alchemist uses. So I do feel like this is something you've manifested. And that's what, you know, holding on to the faith and the trusting and, and just being optimistic that has cemented this new beginning. And you could see it's rushing in. This could even be in the form of like partnerships, uh, love ships, definitely meeting your soul tribe in some aspect. Um, you know, coming into some powerful business partnerships as well. So the divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages you have for my beloved Scorpios? And we have Wah Wah Watson, and this is called, um, what is the name of this song? It's called Hang Up Your Hang Ups. So Wah Wah Washington. So Hang Up Your Hang Ups, that's what getting rid of your fears, you know, that's what confronting your fears are. You know, the things that keep you kind of stuck and stagnant or, you know, faulty belief systems, faulty uh, ideologies, habits, behaviors. It's like getting rid of those things so that you can absolutely show the world who you truly are, not who, you know, you had to create to survive, but showing up as your authentic self. Now that you have the truth, now that you've accepted the truth, now that you you know, even know your power, you know, so this is beautiful. So Wah Wah Watson, someone's name could be Watson. Someone could be born in 1976. We got Herbie Hancock here. So someone's name could also be Herbie or Hancock first, middle or last. I'm hearing some of y'all may be signing your John Hancock or Jane Hancock on some documents. Just be mindful to, um, you know, read between the lines, read the fine print is what I'm hearing as well. Because that justice card showed up in your reading before, and that really is about legalities, you know, so just be mindful. So the bottom of the deck is clarifying the overall energy. And what we have here is the high priestess. 
So look at that powerful energy. So have faith. So this is what the faith is. When you have that knowingness, you have divine knowledge, you know, divine wisdom, wise dome. So you already know, you know, because you can feel, sense, taste, touch. You can feel something is brewing, something is coming. And that's what the faith is all about is trusting um, that things are working out in your favor. Uh, it says meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. So that's what spirit is telling you. It's time to, you know, really go within to discover whatever it is you truly want, you know, because this is not, you know, the time for you to uh, just jump into action. Good things take time to create. So that's why spirit is telling you, trust what you're feeling because you know intuitively what's best for you. Um, and so this is really about, you know, trusting your intuition, using discernment before taking action because you're wise enough to do so. You have access to ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. And so there are always things working behind the scenes. Trust what you feel because there is a wish fulfillment coming. You can see that shooting star in the sky. So this is about trusting that something is working out in your favor. And we already had confirmation of that because we have expect powerful changes um, and there is a, an eclipse in the month of October. I believe it's a Scorpio full moon. It could be a full moon eclipse. I know there's an eclipse next month. Uh, so we have this two of swords here. So this two of swords is absolutely telling you to use head over heart. You know, uh, we're about to pull the card for a time for healing, uh, which is who or what you're attracting to you. So I do feel like spirit is telling you, um, to really take the time to, you know, really analyze situations, you know, um, and don't ignore red flags. Don't ignore things that you know to be problematic. Um, take the necessary time to heal. This is what spirit wants you to do for yourself, but this is also how spirit wants you to choose even, you know, your mates, your partners. You want to see someone has done work on themselves as well. You don't want anybody that you have to heal or anyone that you feel you have to fix. You know, when you're attracting that type of energy, that is an indication that there's still work you need to do. So it's like, trust your intuition, um, and follow your own heart other than trying to, you know, make other people happy by appeasing and pleasing them. So let's tap in. So why is it time for healing here? For who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? All right, there's way too many cards that flew out. We have the uh, five of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So just be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of the people you have around you because your negative thoughts can manifest into certain challenges that you will face. So that negative self-talk, negative, you know, people around you in your ear, you got to be mindful to not entertain those type of people. That's why I was picking up earlier with permission that you have to be very protective of your energy and who you allow in. So I'm going to shuffle these cards being as though they all splat out. All right, and we have Queen Latifah, Yo-Yo, TLC, MC Light, Nefertiti, Salt and Pepper, uh, Patra, Michelle and Dale Cello, and this is called Freedom. So freedom, I always say free dome, free dome. So free your dome from any negative self-talk, negative people, anyone that plants seeds of doubt in your mind, free yourself from those relationships because that's not what love is. That's not what friendship is. That's not what people do when they care about you. They don't plant seeds of doubt. When you're talking about things you desire or what you want, that person that you are sharing in confidence, your feelings and your emotions, the, the last thing they should be telling you is what you can't do. So if you have that type of energy around you, uh, spirit is telling you it's time to free yourself from those connections because that is not real friendship. That is not real love. It's definitely not um, anyone you should be confiding in anyway. Um, especially when you're working towards your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, it's really important to keep that to yourself until, uh, your goals have been accomplished. So, you know, people can really, um, throw negativity your way when you're on the journey to acquiring whatever it is you want. That's why it's very imperative to keep that to yourself until you 
obtain it until that goal has been obtained. So what we have here is three of pentacles, beautiful energy and a time for healing. So I feel this is what a lot of you may have done is taken the necessary time to master your craft, sharpen your sword, and to most importantly, find whatever it is that you love to do the most. And when you put that type of energy into it, it's like, you become recognized for the quality of your work, for, you know, your um, passion. Um, and I just feel like whatever creative endeavors, whatever, even if this is dealing with business and you going through some sort of training process uh, to become, um, you know, to, to take on this new role or this new promotion that you've received, I feel like it, it, it's definitely going to resonate as um, you obtaining a very positive uh, reputation for your work ethic. Um, and you're going to be paid, uh, very well, you know, very handsomely, uh, for what you do. So this is beautiful energy. That's what spirit wants you to focus on. That's what you're attracting to you with a time for healing. I just feel like, like spirit is saying that all the work, all of the efforts that you've put in all that time you utilize to build your skill set or your knowledge to research. It's like, it is going to pay off tremendously. Um, especially when it comes to your creative endeavors, uh, because your work, your quality of work is definitely going to garner you to be paid, um, for what you do, for what you do well. And, um, that's what that time for healing is all about. You turn pain into power. You, you channeled all of that energy that you were experiencing, um, from disappointment and loss and, and, and stress and, and, you know, and you channeled it into something, um, that really is going to uh, propel you forward in in regards to your career, in regards to business, in regards to even love. Um, people are going to want to collaborate. They're going to want to uh, partner up, team up, because it's like they see the, you know, they recognize um, just the quality, you know, of, of what you produce, you know, your artistry, your creativity. This is beautiful. And your reputation is, is it, it, it ex exceeds you. It's like, you know, it's like you, you, you get recognized for, um, for your craft, which is beautiful. And there goes the, uh, six of wands here. So there's victories ahead. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. We're about to pull the card for how someone sees you. So someone could see marriage. Someone could see definitely like, you know, promotions, awards, scholarly energy, you being in the spotlight for whatever it is you're doing. That's why we had a win-win situation is how someone sees you. So investing you in you is like, is making someone feel like, that's going to lead to their success. So you could have someone that's watching you. That could be a business mind that may see partnering with you to be something very lucrative for them as well. So not only are you successful at what you do, but them backing you or supporting you, partnering up with you will also lead to them being successful. So it's a win-win on all parts. I feel with emotions are running high. This is just speaking of the excitement and the elation uh, that you will feel, but there's definitely some sort of victory. And I feel like it's based off of um, wise choices that you've made in the past, uh, which led to some sort of success and recognition, promotions, awards. Um, and that's just what, you know, I see here. So what's, um, why is this a win-win situation? Um, the answers you need are coming. Adjustments are required and emotions are running high here for how this person, our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them feel. And we have on the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. So that Knight of Swords is saying someone is rushing in quickly. So we have the Three of Wands. And remember what I was saying about, you know, that waiting, you know, that waiting period of someone planning and preparing and strategizing. Well, that's what they're doing here. You know, kind of planning and preparing um, with adjustments are required. Uh, they have to plan in order to make the necessary adjustments. So this is like, you know, someone really, um, you know, being very patient um, to make the right decision on what to do next, what action to take. Um, but this also speaks to there being some sort of success assured, or, you know, there's some abundance, uh, that could come from, um, the decisions that this person makes. See that balance, 
that's what I was picking up that you bring a lot of balance equilibrium because remember I was saying there's a lot of scales and that's what the scales represent so someone does feel that you bring a sense of balance a sense of peace a sense of harmony into their life I feel that's what also uh, your angels and guides are helping you to um, find that sense of of balance as well emotionally financially even um, but this is just two people uh, who are going to blend their ideas, you know, together um, to create something extraordinary is what I'm getting. Um, but this also represents, you know, the patience necessary and the self-control um, that you have to have in order to, you know, acquire that emotional equilibrium. We have the two of cups here. So two people giving to one another equally. This is what balance looks like. If you look here, the angel has two chalices and then there's an angel overseeing that union and then these two people have their own chalices. So in order to offer someone your chalice, you had to learn to pour into yourself and to find that, that emotional um, equilibrium. Love is an inside job. And look how strongly you all... You both are extending your cups to one another. So that shows that there is intention here. And the angel that's overseeing this is showing that there is, you know, some sort of, you know, conspiracy behind the scenes by your guides to bring you in a beautiful partnership. This is someone that you will rise in love with. And this is definitely the resurgence of some sort of romantic relationship. Remember, we did see a romantic cycle begins. And I feel whomever or whatever you're attracting to you is someone that will um, maintain the balance and the harmony and the peace. Um, there is definitely an exchange of gifts. You will receive tangible gifts. You will receive praises. Um, and this is also like not giving up on yourself, not giving up on love. You have the ace of wand, um, ace of swords, pardon me. So there's definitely some communication. I feel like if this isn't communication, there are some brilliant business ideas, uh, that you are coming up with. Keep your ideas to yourself. Um, I feel you're absolutely overcoming obstacles, uh, because you've cut yourself free from things that no longer serve you. I feel there's clear and concise communication coming in because remember we had emotions are running high and we also had someone uh that is bringing you the answers you know so with this ace of swords this is confirming you know that there are some answers there's some very um that i feel that there's just um there's some clear communication coming in and next we have the nine of wands. So that nine of wands, remember I was speaking to you being very protective of your energy. And so you, you are absolutely protecting, you know, what you've created. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your peace, you know, and you're always prepared. You're not giving up and you're asking your angels for help is necessary. But it's like you're not allowing anyone to rain on your parade ever again. It's like you are very, very protected. Um... I just see you fighting up, you know, standing up, pardon me, for what you believe in, you know, believing in and, um, you know, whatever disappointments you may have experienced in your past. That's what's led to you now. You really being more assertive. Um, we have the four of swords here. So that shows like you've had to heal from past pain. Of course, before the four of swords, you have the three of swords. So that really does speak to, um, you know, broken heart, you know, um, you know, going through sudden loss. Um, but this here is showing that there's some insight which comes from you meditating to get things straight. And when you are, um, you know, in a space where you're taking onus and accountability, then you're no longer in that victim role. And I feel like that's how the healing can begin. If you could see closely, there's like, you know, her armor, she's taking her armor off. So when you take your armor off, that allows you to, you know, be vulnerable in that moment that allows for you to really um, to really heal. Uh, but I do see that you've allowed yourself more time, um, you know, to really sit with your feelings, with your emotions. And, um, you know, this is giving you a chance to kind of woosah as you, as necessary. Um, but you're also, you know, this is, this is about recovery, you know, healing and, and recuperating and rejuvenating your spirit so this is very powerful. This is how someone sees you. Um, 
communication rushing in we're about to pull the card for how some what's hidden pardon me and remember we had show the world the real you and then we have work through your fears so let's tap it why is that energy here for what's hidden and we have um who is this playing right now we got pete rock and cl smooth straighten it out so that's what you were doing you were straightening out those things that uh were kind of not um who you truly were, you know, straightening things out is, is just like making the necessary adjustments as the card was indicating. Thank you, spirit. Got another message. Wow. A lot of cards. Bottom of the deck, the page of pentacles here. So the th cards that are face down, spirit is telling me I could put those right back in the deck. And I am nosy. I want to see what they are. <laughs> So what flew out is we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Strength card, we have the Emperor, and we have the Eight of Cups. So walking away from what you no, lo no longer serves you, um, that's what strength is all about. When you know your worth and your value, you're not going to settle for what doesn't serve your highest good. Uh, with this Emperor, you could be walking away from a husband, walking away from a job, walking away from someone or something um, that seems to be overbearing, you know, with the Knight of Swords, this is like someone who just kind of, um, you know, very defensive, very argumentative, even hostile to some degree. And I feel like you, you have to think before you respond to said individuals. Um, that's what this show the world, the real you is all about. Uh, because maybe you had someone who was just very, um, overbearing, controlling, um, you know, very judgmental even in your life. And it's like you had to work through your fears to express your truth, to emote, to show vulnerability. That's what the strength card is all about, taking your power back. Um, this is your personal power. And more importantly, this is about being assertive, you know, asserting yourself as necessary. No one should ever be able to dictate to you who you are what you are what you should do and so i really feel like this is about you really asserting yourself and realizing that you're stronger um than you actually know and it required strength for you to walk away from someone or something that you felt like you kept pouring into but wasn't getting much out of it um the cards that flew out is the ace of uh cups the transformation card the page of wands the chariot, the queen of wands, the justice, the moon, and the seven of cups. So I'm just getting a sense of like, you know, maybe someone was kind of feeling themselves, was a little egotistical because, you know, they had a lot of options. Um, maybe they were very attractive. I feel like someone is definitely getting some karma uh, for things that they may have hid. Uh, whatever was hidden, it's come to light. I feel like with this Ace of Cups is showing that, you know, this is you taking that necessary time to heal and nurture yourself. Um, this is also, you know, a reminder that there's a beautiful emotional uh, cycle that is coming, um, you know, that's coming through as well. So let's tap in. Let's get a couple of messages. These cards just splat out. So we're going to take those of your messages. Bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Cups. So you're receiving rewards um, generous offers. I definitely feel like, you know, all of the good seeds that you've sowed, um, they are going to harvest. They are going to blossom because the good that you've done in your past is coming back to you, uh, tenfold. I feel like there's, um, an unexpected inflow. That's what this, you know, expect powerful changes is because there's an inflow of abundance. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense of you like paying off debts and, you know, having more than you um, anticipate. Uh, what flew out is the Queen of Cups. We have the Magician and we have the Five of Cups here. So this is showing like, you know, perhaps someone is trying to manifest you back or maybe something that you have been setting intention on um, is going to generate some sort of change because it's like this queen of wands is, uh, queen of cups, pardon me, um, is very, very intuitive. Uh, she's also very emotionally intelligent, loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing. She's very deep. Um, she has very deep psychic insight. So it's like, you know, that could be why this magician is here as well, because this magician is someone who is, you know, um, 
a co-creator with source. So what you're doing, I feel, um, especially in terms of you manifesting or working uh, some sort of rituals, it's going to definitely um, bring some success in your life. Um, and you just have to know it. Like I said, it's not about a belief anymore. It's like, you know, that you have the power to manifest your physical reality, to change, you know, your physical reality. And with this five of cups, it's like, you know, not being stuck in a space where you're focusing on, you know, how things look, how things appear, but really taking the necessary time to forgive, forgive yourself, forgive others for things that they may have done because everything that has occurred has happened for a reason. And it's about looking for those blessings because there's something very powerful that's changing in your life. Um, so it's like changing your focus from, you know, worrying about problems and, and really just focusing on the solution uh, because something beautiful is coming in. You're just, this has been assured. This has been confirmed. Just affirm it and um, know that you're deserving. But this is your reading, Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, send a big fat Asheo. Peace.